Here's a 1964 ES335 that came in for a restoration. The neck was previously repaired. There's the label. And the neck was actually broken at the headstock. And at the time, the luthier shaved down the neck, and it's really impossibly thin. And here's the after pictures after I spliced in a neck graft and you can see now it looks uh, a little more proper the neck was 0 0.85 at the 12th fret and 0 0.74 at the first which is really impossible to play you can see the big holes for the butter bean tuners I plugged those with uh, face grain plugs. Here you can see a little of the before. There's the break in the headstock, which was pretty, looks like a pretty good repair. But it's very fragile there. And the Owner just could not play this guitar. He just he just needed a, a little more a thickness. So I proceeded with the next splice or spline, neck graft, whatever you want to call it. And I removed the wood there and I replaced it with some old growth mahogany. Luckily I had a stash of that type of wood, which is key. I used hot hide glue to glue this piece in and then I reshape the neck. I put in the proper tuners. Everything looks back to normal now. I strung it up. It sounds great. It plays great.